Hi guys, it's Claire's and welcome to another uh, Procreate video tutorial with me. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how I typically pick my color scheme. Uh, and because most of the projects I do on Procreate are typically to be posted on my Instagram, what I normally do is take a screenshot of the first four to five rows of what I have posted and then I kind of pick from there. And if you're not doing it for Instagram or social media, uh, you kind of pick from an image that you really, really like. So again, that would require you to take a screenshot or just save the image onto your device and then you open it up in Procreate and that's how you kind of pick the colors. So for instance, I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my feed as an example just to show you guys how uh, we go about doing that process. Uh, or how I go about doing that. And so let's get started. I am going to take a screenshot off this screen and how you would typically do it is by pressing your power button at the bottom and then pressing the top button simultaneously at the same time. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. And there you go. You can see the screenshot right at the bottom and so it's saved to your photos. Now once that's done, we can shut this off and open Procreate. So I'm quickly going to open Procreate right here and then I'm going to press the, uh, the plus sign at the top and then we're just going to open a canvas or area that we can work with. Let's just pick the screen size which is good enough. So here you go, we have this big well, something that covers the whole screen and now I am going to bring in my image so I'm going to hit the tool button at the top and then we are going to click on add and we're inserting a photo and now it brings up all the images that I have so I'm going to click on all photos and then select the image where it was so it was in all photos and now that I have this just turning it sideways so I can see that and if I wanted a specific color or a specific tone here's how you would do it I'm just gonna make sure that I have not selected that anymore so we've got it in layer one and now all you need to do is say if I want a nice collection of the pinks and maybe some of the blues and some greens so I, I just hold my finger down and it kind of gives me the top color that you can see on the circle and that's the pink I get. If you kind of move it around it changes so you have flexibility in what tone you want. So let's just pick this beigey pink and now that I have that what I'm going to do is create a new palette. So I've got a couple of palettes here already I'm going to hit the plus button under palettes and it creates a new one for me. I am going to name it um, color no I'm gonna name it new rose and once we've done that I'm going to just click in this area here and it immediately gives me a swatch of the color that's reflected at the top so that's how you kind of add the colors in so now let's just say I want another color from this image I'm gonna select oops I'm going to select uh, possibly this blue, like a slightly darker blue because the pink is very, very beigey and light. So I'll pick that blue and then we're going back to our palette and then we just click again and it adds it there. I just kept a space because I think I want a brighter color in there so it's a nice pretty array of colors. So we'll pick another pinky color. Um, Let's just see, should I get like a purple? Sure, why not? And I don't know why I keep selecting my layers. Click it right there and we've got these nice colors right there. So now let's just say I want a white. So I'll pick a white or you can just literally just create the white from, whoops, that's not how that happens. Or you can just kind of get your white yeah, this is how you delete. Just hold down onto your swatch and hit delete. We can just click on the white 
and then click it right there and it adds it to your palette. So this way you can pre-plan for your colors before you start a project and it's super easy, super simple. If you are doing this from an image of maybe a really beautiful bouquet, again, it's the same technique. You kind of take the image, bring it into Procreate, press your finger down until you like the color that you want and then you kind of add it to your palette. So, like I said, I'll add one, like a green or something like that to the palette. So I'm just going to add this light green. And then we are done. So there we go. I've got like a cute little palette going on. I can enhance, um, not enhance, I can use that to kind of create something I want now. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys thought of this. If you want to see anything else please do let me know this video was a request and so um hoping i answered the question well and uh that's it guys if you like videos like this and if you like watercolor please do consider subscribing to my channel as i do a lot of um watercolor videos uh on a weekly basis and that's it thanks guys for watching and we'll chat soon bye